Okay, I wanted to give you all a brief overview of a really interesting and a little known subject that I got into last year. It's called iridology, which is the study of the irises and how to use them to tell if you're having any health issues and to be able to visually see, you know, the progress of any detoxes and health regimens and things that you're going on. Um, and just to get a glimpse of the overall health of your body. The same way that you can use your tongue or your skin or other parts of your body to get a, you know, a view of the health of your body, you can use the irises. And this is a, to me, it's a, a really good way. And after looking into it, I pretty much found that there's a lot of truth to this and it's it's pretty accurate so this is the right iris or the right eye this is the left and this just gives you kind of an understanding of what's going on see each section of each iris corresponds to a different part of the body um, starting with the first ring right around your pupil you have your stomach and then your colon and then as you go out towards the edge, it um, you know it goes from the inside of your body towards the the outside, and so you can use this to find out what's going on and where in your body. So this is a healthy, a fairly healthy iris, and you can see that all the lines are, are pretty nice. Um, no huge spots you got a little bit of something going on here but overall this is a a fairly healthy normal iris this is one that looks very unhealthy you know you can see a huge spot here other small brown spots you got big lymph circles here a lot of the lines are, are curved and not very straight this this ring here around the area of the intestines and the stomach it's not very uniform in its circular shape you know it gets thicker here and wavy edges um, the body you have lymph fluids that travel throughout your body from your glands and you know if you're not detoxing properly or your liver's not working right and you're not filtering out all this excess lymph fluid or you have some kind of injury or <clears throat> problem going on where your fluids are becoming full of toxins or not circulating properly they'll build up in areas and you'll get problems related to that you know adrenal fatigue uh, toxin buildup eye problems all sorts of things so you can see this person has some some issues going on and we can kind of just get a you know a brief diagnosis here by looking at this chart so you see this spot here is this looks like the right eyeball um, that's right in the middle under the pupil just right on and a little below the intestine ring here so we can look on the chart and see about where that applies to so it that big brown spot they had was about right here and it seemed to be oh wrong one kind of on the surface layer of the eye you know it doesn't look like it's very deep and under the lines it, it seems like it's on the exterior of the iris so it's going to be something that's more related to the outside of the body probably or an organ that's you know more towards the exterior so it could be something going on with the uh, the colon here you know the the intestines in the colon kinda leaking out some although that's the inside you kinda gotta do a this isn't a perfect exact science that's gonna tell you you know exactly what's going on you kinda have to weigh your symptoms you have going on and and look at the charts and you know use your intuition a little bit so it's probably not something with the femur or something like that but it's kinda close to you see the adrenals here the kidney the colon intestines um, 
I have another chart here that's just a little bit different. We might be able to get another view here. Yeah, so see on this one, the adrenals gland is right there. And with all of the lymph buildup and, and thick areas you see going on here, it kind of leads me to believe that it's something to do with the glands or um, the body not filtering and detoxing properly. So, you know, your first first thing you would do is probably notice if you're having any other symptoms you know uh, lethargy weakness tiredness um, you know things related to a buildup in the body um, now let's look at this one here and see what that might apply to that looks like it's right around this area here which is also it was on the line you know connected to the the colon and the intestines and it's probably not an ear problem or neck problem I mean, it could be but with all the other things on the the picture it seems like it's gonna be something more related to you know the intestines or the fluids or something like that so let's look at this other one you got the colon, the ascending colon, the transverse colon, cervicals, ear. So, you know, if you're not having anything going on with your ear or, or no hearing problems or damage to the ear or the interior of the ear, it, it's not probably going to be that. So, um, let's look at it one more time. Oh. All, right, all these little you know bright or thick spots here you know that's also lymph build up so to me just you know first kinda of looking at this thing to me it indicates that they're not filtering their lymph fluid they're probably dehydrated their livers backed up their colon and their intestines probably need a good cleaning this this to me would indicate just a very overall unhealthy body um, and you know needs a good detox program so let's give you a brief history of the science and how it started and all that alright in the 17th 18th and 19th centuries writings and works on iris markings and their meanings were recorded mainly by medical practitioners one of the earliest was Dr. Ignatz von Pekzeli a Hungarian doctor while still a child he accidentally broke the leg of an owl he noticed a black mark appearing in the owl's eye, which over time changed in form and shading. Ignatz von Pexeli qualified in medicine at the Vienna Medical College in 1867. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Mm, yeah, so this is the same story I read in many other places. You know, this guy had this owl that was coming to his farm and... Um, he was trying to capture it and while he did it he somehow broke the leg of the owl or it was caught in a trap or something and he noticed as soon as it happened that this spot appeared on this owl's eye and um, you know after he started researching it it piqued his interest and he really got into it he noticed that that spot on the eye was connected to the leg area so after further research and experiments and this and that, he was able to see the direct correlations between the body and how problems manifest in the eye. So that's, you know, basically how it got its start. And, you know, of course, Wikipedia and doctors and this and that are going to say this is pseudoscience and you can't trust it and this and that. But I watched many videos and, uh, you know, I've studied this on myself when I was having issues and I watched the iris change a bit over time in relation to what I was doing to help clean my body so you know to me there's really no way to say that this is um, inaccurate or you know this is something that doesn't need to be taken in consideration you know Eastern medicine uh, natural healing all that is what I've practiced my whole life and I'm a firm advocate of you know using natural cures and and diagnosis as much as you can because I've had a lot of personal experience with it and seen really good results you know using just basic health things detoxes herbs things like that so 
know, that'll give you a brief overview of of the science and you can look into it more if you want but um, alright hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching